Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool review is going to be a shop stool and more particular, the one from Northern Tool that I have right here in this box. So recently I put out a community post asking everyone, have you had any experience with the Northern Tool? Or also I think it was called Freaky Seed or something like that was the other one that I was kind of comparing back and forth between. And they're really two different stools altogether. So this one is a standalone stool. The freaky seat was one that also had casters and stuff on it. It kind of adjusted lower, but didn't go as high as this one. And why I ended up going with this one was because the reviews for the freaky seat, I did read several on Amazon that talked about the casters not being great. And then one of you specifically said, I had problems with the casters rolling like I wanted to and all those kinds of things. So that made me order this one. But then right after I ordered this one, I think it was Apache. He said, I bought the Northern Tool one. It wasn't 100% great in my opinion. I ended up going and buying the DeWalt. So several of you mentioned the DeWalt one to me. The big thing about the DeWalt and why I didn't want to go with it, not just because it was yellow, but more so it was that height. I think the tallest height on it was 24 inches or something like that. And this is exactly where I'm going to use my 90% of the time. I'm not going to use it so much rolling around the shop and those kinds of things. So I decided to go against getting one with casters for that particular reason. Uh, so again, if you're wanting one with casters, this is not the stool that you're going to want to get, but it's still going to be an upgrade for me no matter what. Right now, I currently have this spider one from Lowe's. I ended up getting this on clearance back in that back aisle of Lowe's. So two of the issues that I don't like about this seat, one is the seat doesn't swivel, it's just stationary, and then it also squeaks horrendously. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but it's real bad about that. I'm not sure that this one's not gonna do that, but that's not a big deal for me while I'm working, but while I'm filming, I try not to, I always wonder, do those guys hear all that squeaking that's going on? Those kinds of things. But that's why I chose the Northern Tool over the Freaky Seat, over the DeWalt version because of my particular use case. And then also the price. This comes in at $79. It was the cheapest of the options that I was looking at. And I still feel like it's going to give me exactly what I was looking for for my particular use case. So again, if you're looking for a rolling stool, I would suggest looking at the DeWalt just based upon the feedback from all the people within the community. Several people kind of talk pretty highly about that. So again, I'm not going to use mine to roll around. So that's why I got this one. But you might want to look into that one if that's what you're looking for. But I'm going to go ahead and get this thing out of the box. So I'm going to film putting it together. That way, if you can kind of see how this thing gets put together, kind of give you an idea of the build quality, stuff like that. And then once I get it put together, I'll go ahead and show it to you you know, as it is, we'll look at the features, all those kinds of things, and then maybe you can decide if it's the right stool for you. But let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. My box did come a little bit damaged up here, uh, but I don't think it's hurt anything. It's basically the stand part right here is the only place that was sticking up, and I don't see any kind of marking, so I think we're good. So now that I've got the box open, we're gonna get out the pieces. Looks like everything pretty much comes kind of already together for the most part. So this might be a really simple install. Probably won't be a very long video, it doesn't look like. So that's all the pieces. Comes already kind of together, one piece in a box. We got the instructions right here. Uh, packaging wise, there wasn't a lot of packaging material in there, but they kind of had the seat protected uh, with the stand itself. So that's all that's in, in the box. Assembly instruction part number one says put the painted end of the cylinder into the center of the base number one That's right here. So we're just going to slide that down in there it Doesn't really feel like it necessarily locks or anything kind of just fits in there as is Number two says place the seat on top of the cylinder. So it's a matter of just taking sliding that on like so The last step says to slowly put your weight onto the seat let it press down and then hold it for 10 seconds So yeah, guys, I don't think the install could have been any easier. Three basic steps. Everything's pretty much already put together for the base. I do remember someone in the community saying I might would want to put some Loctite on these screws. Right now, mine seem pretty tight, so I might do that at some point. But it's basically the base is installed. You put the cylinder in, you put the seat on, and then you sit on it. It's all right there, and it does seem like it's pretty sturdy. And my floor is not exactly level. And then again, you can adjust the height now just by going up with it. That's that maximum height. And then now my chair swivels as well. And this is a pretty good height 
for my workbench right there. But let me go ahead and bring you in closer and we'll look at some of it. So we get into the seat itself. It's basically a vinyl wrap seat. You have that northern tool right there. That seems like it's not like a overlay. That's kind of into that vinyl. So I don't think you'll get any kind of, you might get peeling of the vinyl just itself, but it's not like it's a sticker on top of the vinyl is what I'm basically saying. Uh, you do get a small little bit of a backrest right there. That's not overly big. And then again, other than that, it's pretty much all the base. You got the Northern Tool logo on it there as well. It's got some little rubber caps on the feet. And then you have this adjustment lever right here to raise it up and down. So just like with the assembly, there's not a whole lot that you can say about it. Again, it's basically a base, a cylinder, and a seat. If I look at the overall height, so this is at the highest position as far as where the seat lies. We're probably looking at, I'm going to call it 29 and 3 quarters inches sitting right there. And then you probably have, it looks like maybe a 3 and a half inch uh, backrest. So you could add that to it. If I get in and lower it to the lowest position, we're now looking at... I'm going to call it 24 and three quarters inches. So what was that? You had 24 to 29. You got a five inch range of motion in there that you can stop in between, set it at whatever height's comfortable to you. Again, you do have that swivel action now and the ability to raise and lower. But again, mine is pretty much going to stay right here in this spot. I'm going to probably keep it at the highest position, but now I can swivel. I can work on my workbench. I can do the guess the trade sitting in it now. Right now, as I'm speaking, there's no squeaks in it. We'll have to see if that happens, but I feel like it's definitely an upgrade from my clearance spider, you know, Lowe's Pro Stool. Nothing fancy about this one. It works fine, but it just doesn't have some of the features that the Northern Tool has. But yeah, guys, that is the stool from Northern Tools. Ended up getting this on Amazon for 80 bucks. I think it's also $80 on northerntool.com. I just got it on Amazon because it was, you know, faster to get it to me, those kinds of things like that. Again, for what I'm going to use it for as a standalone, I feel like it's going to work great. If you're looking for one that rolls around, I'm going to suggest the DeWalt one just based upon the community. I've not used it, but that was the highest rated one as far as for the price, unless you get into like a Viper or something like that, which is astronomical. But again, I appreciate all the posts and all the feedback on the community post about these stools. Uh, it kind of helped me make my decision anyways. The casters maybe not being so great because I didn't really need them. It was kind of going to be a bonus, but I don't really particular need them. So I just decided not to get one that had them. That way it's not an issue for me if they end up messing up. But that's the Northern Tool Stool. Let me know in the comments below if you've got it. If you've got some other stool that you really like, drop that in the comments below as well. But as always, I hope this video was helpful. You guys stay safe. Have a blessed day. I'll see you on the next video.